Empower Award Day. It was the day of the annual Empower Awards. Sir Martin brought some hash cakes in a tin, which all the boys were eating, because we knew we wouldn't win any awards for anything, because all our deals were shitty. And as the director began to speak, we had nothing but fucking pity for the salesman he was now praising for working hard all year. I wondered who this cunt could be as I ate more cakes containing gear. To win this award, the director said, you must be at the pinnacle of your game. So congratulations to... He then, jaw-droppingly, read out my fucking name. So while stoned on fucking hash cakes, I had to walk right from the back to collect my Employee of the Year award off the director, David Black. Clive from Empower. My friend Clive's one of a kind, but to understand this fully, you need to see him on his boat with his dog called Woolly. Jenny and Selena united. When I got Selena to blow Jenny out for me, Jenny was so gutted she left the company. Then I blew Selena out, so she quit her job as well. But they both went to work for Seabold. So, Geordie Steve, I had to tell. As he, of course, still worked there. And I knew he'd give them shit. Especially as neither one was particularly fit. When Jenny started on her first day, she went to the Monday meeting. Howie, this dirty slot of foot mummy, <laughs> was Geordie Steve's fine choice of greeting. Selena then got a job there too. But some information I had leaked. Howie? Mum, he fuck you up the ass. You'll be shitting chocolate donuts for a week. So my two ex-conquests from Empower, who I'd made want to leave, found themselves at Seabold with my old pal, Judy Steve. Church Square. With Jenny and Selena, I stayed mainly in hotels, but I needed my own love pad if I were to shag more girls. I found a little cottage located in Church Square. I knew this was the place to live, for what I had found there was cannabis plants growing up the wall of my next door neighbour. And Beth, a girl I went to school with, shouting at her kids' behaviour. Kids' toys were scattered in the road. Beth's knickers hung upon the line. Bonds, the hippie, was doing yoga. Yes, this place will do me fine. I paid the deposit straight away and got my front door key. What a lot of fun I thought this place to live would be. World Cup 2002. In the year 2002, we wore our England shirts. Could England win the World Cup and end all the years of hurt? David Beckham scored a penalty. It en ended England 1, Argentina 0. We went into the quarterfinals but got knocked out by Brazil. We didn't win the World Cup, Brazil went on and won, but everyone was on the piss and summer had begun. England won, Argentina nil. Now to beat Argentina in a World Cup is indeed a special treat. After the final whistle, people were dancing in the street. I jumped in front of several cars, which may not have been too clever, but the only thing that bumped into me was... My old pal, Trevor. He was with Claire, his new girlfriend. So I invited them round mine, where we could chill and have a joint and perhaps a sneaky line. I was with a girl called Lisa. She was black and very jolly. In between her lines of coke, she sucked upon a lolly. Let's go to mine and bring some porn, was what Trevor, I think, said. And as Trevor had a bigger house, we all went there instead. At Trevor's, things got way more messy. I even floated up his stairs. Trevor was groping Lisa's bum and I was stroking Claire. But before the scene got too extreme, I got up and said, Come on, Lisa, it's time to leave. Let's go home to bed. It was now early in the morning and the start of the next day. Time, I thought, for me and Lisa to go on our merry way. So we left Claire and Trevor to it to go home and recover because I had bits of black Lisa I needed to discover. <laughs>